At a House hearing on fusion energy held on September 18th, Congressman Begich of Alaska pressed Dr. Bob Mumgard, co-founder and CEO of Commonwealth Fusion Systems, on why fusion technology isn't classified. Fission technology is riddled with guarded state secrets. And I'm hearing about a lot today about uh, open and collaborative research. How much of what we're working on in the fusion space should be considered a state secret? So in, fusion was declassified very early it's because it's really hard to do. And it's also because it's not directly related to weapons. So in fusion, you don't have the, the chain reaction. You don't have the uranium, uh, plutonium. It also means that you don't have the, what is the intent of having those things? Which is when we look at a place like Iran, like you're separating out intent, energy versus weapons. Fusion doesn't have that, fundamentally. The reaction doesn't. And so that was key to why it was declassified. Um, and that, I think, is an important principle today, that the reaction itself is universal, and the materials are universal. Um, but the know-how is the key part. And the know-how coupled to the ability to, to build things is the economic engine of it. Um, and so if we really want that econ economic engine to work, um, there's not a lot of reason to have state secrets. Uh, China's building a new coal plant every two to three days. They're also investing in fusion, but they're not placing all their bets on fusion. Why do you think they lack the confidence to place their bets on fusion, given their investment in traditional energy? And it's a very good question. I think it, it also dove, the answer I think dovetails with your, your previous thing about displacement of energy. The world just needs so much energy that you can't really close doors, right? If you close doors to fossil fuels in China today and you bet it all on fusion, like there's a possibility that you don't have enough energy to run that country. They're not going to do that. And what this is about is about building options, options that could expand. And every time we've built a new energy system, new energy uh, technology, it has not displaced huge amounts of energy instantaneously. It's allowed us to go faster and further by adding to it. And I think that's what the diffusion story is, and, and that's probably how they see it. For more congressional news, stay tuned to Congress Clips.